Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to fix printer offline issues you might be getting on your Windows device. So if you're just experiencing this error for the first time, this tutorial will hopefully provide a very in-depth and thorough walkthrough of how to resolve this problem. So without further ado, let's get right into this. And we are going to start by opening up the start menu. You just want to left click on it once to open it up. You want to type in printer. Best match that comes up on Windows 10 should say devices and printers right above control panel. You want to left click on this once to open it up. Now you want to go underneath the printer section. If for some reason the view is collapsed and it looks like this, you want to left click on the little arrow to expand it so you can see all your printers here. Now you want to select your default printer. In most cases, it's pretty obvious, and another hint is that there's a little check mark next to it. It's your default printer, and very likely it is going to be the one you're experiencing the problems with. So once you have identified which printer is causing the issue, and it shouldn't be that hard to find out, you want to right click on it, and then left click on printer properties. You do not want to click on properties at the bottom here. You want to click on this printer properties right here. And now you want to left click on the ports tab at the top right here. And now the default port should already be checkmarked and it probably will be highlighted when you select this ports tab. You want to select it if it's not automatically selected just by left clicking on it once. And then you want to left click on configure port right here. Now if it says SNMP status enabled, you want to uncheck this box and then click on OK. At this point, you can close out of all of these open and active windows. I recommend restarting your computer and then attempt to print out whatever you were having issues with before. So I also would recommend you also turn on your printer. Make sure you turn your printer off and on again one time. But that should be pretty self-explanatory. But I do hope I was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.